Hi there, Robin here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Pyle's PPHP 1599WU, sometimes 0.5. Uh, they do have two models of the actual same system. I have no idea why they have two SKUs. I think it has to do with production, but it is so popular, they have to have it in the system twice. So if you're looking for this speaker, don't worry if you see one that says WU or one that says WU.5. What we're going to do in this video is cover all the features and benefits of this speaker, including all the options on the back side of it. So let's get started. So here we are. Let's start with the actual back of the speaker where all the actual knobs and buttons and plugs are, because this is where the business end happens. Right at the very top, we have the actual digital display, which is part of the Bluetooth or MP3 option. This unit also has a record function on it. I'll explain a little bit more of that in detail when we get to the bottom. You also get controls for your digital volume on your Bluetooth or FM tuner along with the MP3 player by holding this button up and down. You're going to be able to control those adjustments. So if we turn the volume down, put that there. Let's get that into FM. If I hold this button down, the digital display will pull the volume down and it will also push the volume back up. It also acts as the next and previous options for the unit. The unit also, as an MP3 player, can either run on an SD card or a USB stick, and that also applies to the built-in recording options. The recording option is based on my line level and my mic levels, not to the actual volume that I'm playing out at. So it does make the recording a little bit complicated, and if you do want to use the recording features, you're going to have to play around with it a bit and get some practice in on it. But as the unit goes for using it for karaoke or as a PA speaker, while well, everything else is incredibly simple with the unit. Now, right off the hop, we've got RCA jacks to keep our life simple. We've got line in and line out. So we need to plug it into something else like another speaker, another PA system, or maybe another stereo. We can do that just by using RCA line outs from here. Right beside that, the first knob is straightforward. It's the line volume, and that controls the preamp levels of the actual line input, which are located right here, followed by a treble and bass knob. So we can adjust our bass and treble, highs and lows right here, and then our main volume output for the front of the unit. That's the speaker volume, by the way. Below that, we've got mic inputs, one and two, and number two also offers us a guitar high Z inputs. We can plug a guitar or a bass guitar into here and it'll automatically take care of the impedance adjustments. So this way it sounds right coming out the front side. Beside that, we have mic volume, which is the overall mic volume control for the system. It's going to allow us to increase or decrease how much of the mic we're going to hear compared to everything else. Beside that, to make this a really good karaoke speaker, they give you echo and reverb on this unit. So you can adjust both on the back of this unit. A lot of units have echo, this one has both, echo and reverb. Down here, because it has wireless microphones built into it, you have the ability to turn on the wireless system, on or off, and then as you turn microphones on, one mic will come up indicated as an amber color, and the second microphone is indicated by a green color. So this way you know which one's on, and all I need to do at that point is turn up the actual master volume, and now I know I'm working with B, I can turn that one up and down just like that and adjust it the way I want. That's how easy it is. They are UHF microphones now, which are really nice, and they are set with a digital link. It does take a second for it to link, but you don't even notice that happening, but the quality is really good because of the upgrades they've made to this system. These two antennas located on the side are for the wireless microphones, and all you need to do if you're not getting a great reception or you need to go very far away is to pull those up and down, but you may or may not have to use that you decide based upon where you're going to be standing if the reception is good or not. Below that we see all these lights right here. Battery level indicator tells us when we're at 25, 50, 75 or 100 percent. In this case the battery is full charge. We're sitting at 100 percent. It does use a regular rechargeable battery, not a lithium battery. So over time these will change for how long the battery is going to be good for and if you're even going to be able to achieve 100 percent charge on the unit. Uh, over time, you may have to replace the battery, so they do make the battery accessible through these screws right here. Uh, all you do is remove the bottom four screws around this door, and that'll give you access to the battery inside, which is available on Amazon. Easily replaced, very affordable. 
talking about charging and the battery itself on the very far side we do have a second red light which is the charge light when we are charging the unit this light will go on now this is amazing they've separated the power switch from the charger so i do like to run this system on battery as much as possible that'll increase the longevity of the battery inside so i will use this on battery until it's at least down to 50 percent or 25 and then charge it up to charge it, all you need to do is have the AC adapter included, of course. Plug that in. Now you'll notice the charge light has not gone on yet. Until I actually physically turn this on, now it's on. Now the unit is actually charging. And by the way, because we have it on, we're still using it and charging it at the same time. So I can at any time turn the charger off. It will still continue to run because I have the power on. Until I actually turn the power off, this unit is ready to go. If I want, I can have it off and I can charge the unit at the same time. Again, don't overcharge it. You know, I'm going to say eight hour maximum is, is the longest you want to have this plugged in for. Uh, that's just more for safety, for the battery and the unit itself. Outside of that, I really enjoy using this. If you read the reviews on this unit, you'll see that most people really do enjoy it when they're buying it for the right reason. If you're buying it for backyard parties, rec room, uh, anything like that. This is a real fun unit and karaoke is super simple to do on this unit. All you need is your TV, phone or tablet. And if you're lucky enough to have that with Bluetooth on it, you don't even need to buy any wires or adapters. It will simply just work via Bluetooth. So when it comes to how loud the speaker is, definitely you can have yourself a rec room full of people for a birthday party or anything like that and this is going to do the job really well if you're buying it for karaoke the speaker can sit on its side like a stage monitor and you'll be able to have it as a wedge in front of the tv which is probably the best way to do karaoke now if you have so many people in the room that you can't see the speaker then you might want to get yourself a tripod stand for it it's universal speaker tripod stand that's all you need to know it'll go right on top of that uh, as power again goes, I think they have it listed for 1200 watts, 600 RMS, that sort of thing. I could be wrong on that, but at the end of the day, it is running off a 12 volt battery. So is it loud? Very loud. Remember these aren't subwoofers, these are base modules with a tweeter on top. So everybody really enjoys it because it does do that, that, that karaoke song really well for you. And it's, it's as good as the music you're getting into it. Uh, you can play Spotify and do any of that sort of things on it as well. Plus, remember, the Bluetooth works on everything. So if you have Bluetooth on your TV, your phone, your tablet, your iPhone, your iPad, doesn't really matter. It will connect to it as long as it's for audio, and you'll be all set and fine. Again, portability, take it out of the backyard. It's not just for karaoke. Have it for anywhere you want. You need to bring it to the beach in the summertime, go for it. It's there for you. Charge it up. You're all set. So we're gonna wrap this up by saying, I really like this speaker. It's very fun to use and it's very easy to use. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Maybe we'll see you in the next one. I'd like to say thank you for watching and bye for now.